and you, and you think about everyone's God supposed to look like them in a way, right? Let's use let's I'm approaching this once again from a logical standpoint, right? Let's just look at this logically, and maybe a spiritual understanding in mm-hmm. a, in a to to a degree as well. Buddha, Buddhism, right. that's in the Asian space, a portion of the Asian space. Because do you have Krishna or you have the 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 Vedic? I think it's called the Vedic India. or the mm-hmm. the um. In, in the Indian, which is a still Asia, that's there. And look how strong they are as a people. Look how Buddhists, look how strong they are as a people. You go to Christianity or Jesus. Who's mm-hmm. the root? What's the root of Jesus? What, what Where does that name come from? Well, Spain. Could that be the name from Ethiopia? From the sea line of Adam? From J- See, that's a stronghold because once I say that, then automatically, oh, you, you, your mind automatically, dis- cognitive dissonance is to just cut me off and say, oh, da 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 no, 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 no. But if you pull up and pull the scriptures out and show, let's look, let us reason. He said, let us reason. Use your mind. Mm-hmm. You go to your continent and the, they, the scriptures have told you from Genesis 1 through 12 and all the way through that Africa, as they call it, or the land, the garden, as the Most High calls it, is the, the center of these people. It doesn't mean it's for everybody. That's why, going back to Gentile, Gentiles and pagans or whatever, people who are outside of whatever covenant from your perspective, isn't going to be like you, just like in nature. Lions and gorillas may eat some of the same food, but they don't eat the same food for every meal to survive. Gorillas don't eat meat. It's cool to be different. It's okay. It's okay. This is what it is. It's just what it is. And that's okay. okay. So Afro peoples need to ask themselves, who is our God? You even look at Sahara, Sub-Sahara, Sarah and Haran. Sarah. Sarah Mm -hmm. and Haran. Those are biblical persons. Uh, with Abraham that's Abraham's wife and his nephew that's family that's a bloodline Mm -hmm. so if the most high is the one who makes everything and although man can come in and sub make co-create or maneuver manipulate flip it but there's certain things that are set in stone that cannot be changed if they called Mm -hmm. that area sub Sahara why don't we break that word down and see what that means oh it just means the Sahara okay but where's Sarah coming from where Go do the research. But we're afraid to because that's going to hit the underpinning of our consciousness. That's what the scriptures call a stronghold. He said, casting down imaginations and every thought that raises itself again. And imagination can last for five thousand for five thousand years, four hundred years. Still going. It still can go. And if you come up against that imagination, you're hitting a stronghold. Boom. Nah, that ideology is outside of what we believe. So you're a heretic or you're this or you're that. I, I was just telling my daughter today when you, you talk about imaginations, I said, you don't realize this, but since birth, you've been programmed to think a certain way. There's things you believe today at the age of 18 that if I ask you, you can't even tell me why you believe it because it's been programmed. It's an imagination. It's, been, it's repetitious, repetitious. Everything you see, everything you consume, everywhere you go, it becomes, in your world, normal. It is the way it is. But when you really pierce it down, you ask yourself, where did this come from? That's an imagination that was put on you. Mm. So many different things that a lot of the social ills and the things that they, they combat on a day-to-day basis, it's because it's free for all. I was, we were even breaking down the educational system. Because mm-hmm. I used to joke with her and say, what did you learn today in school? Yeah, you know, we were talking about this. We were listening to this news station. I said, it's all programming because it's trying to train you to think and it's demobilizing you Mm. because you literally have to deconstruct or unlearn what you think you've learned, pull yourself out and look at it and be like, man, what has really been imparted within me that is really junk and it is causing me to maneuver and to act and react in certain ways that are contrary to my existence. Mm. And she, she sat there, she's like, that's true because you literally have to do it. So, you know, you literally have to combat what you're digesting, combat the things that you're allowing in, as we say, your spirit, your spirit man, because what's in you will ultimately come out, right? 
and I, I believe for every young people, like like you said, when we follow the scriptures when we were younger, it said what? Let every, let every man examine himself. You remember we used to always read the scriptures before communion. Because why? Because you have to. You have to do that personal checkup, that accountability to check to make sure to see why am I thinking this way? Mm. What what contract has been signed, sealed, delivered? That I am what being programmed. What imagination has been put on me that I'm maneuvering in this manner? Just like today when we're just talking about the way we move in life. Mm-hmm. These are things that have been passed down from what we've seen from extended family members, great grandfathers, people we've never even met that we are facilitating and manifesting and executing on things mm-hmm. for people that it was ideas to them and it's happening today. So you can imagine that what we're doing today is going to have ramifications for people that we would never meet as long as this earth exists going forward. So what are some of the contracts in our individual lives mm. that we have initiated that haven't been closed, that haven't been uh, uh, disam- dismantled, but are still open-ended, and then we still have an obligation to, mm. whether it's good or bad, mm-hmm. because there's different polarities, right? Because the thing that we think that we did out of ignorance will have ramifications down the road. And a lot mm. of times we don't know. And we're fighting demons and fighting so many ills that we don't know, like, where did this come from? And then, like you said, when we revisit history, when we begin to look at the lineage, the seed line and go back and back, you'd be like, oh, this thing was taking place back centuries ago, decades ago. Mm. We just now seeing the fulfillment now. Ah, because when you think about it that way, as how these things move in the spiritual realm. You will be very cautious and very careful on how we move. See, that's a part of the element in our everyday living is why we live such a carefree and careless life. Why? Mm. Because we don't see immediate impact, resolution, and consequence for everything we do. Mm. I can steal something today, and as long as no one saw it, I think I got away with it. Mm. I can do something behind closed doors that because no one saw it, I think I got away with it. But I have, I have what? Initiated a contract. I have started a covenant. I have bonded myself. I've done certain things that is going to come a time where the check will have to be cashed and somebody's going to have to pay for it. Oh, man. How many times in my life have I experienced that principle? (laughs) Yes. And it's true. So, however, whatever terminology, what word, if we want to say karma, whatever way we want to say, because everybody understands it and they describe it in their own special way. Mm -hmm. But like you said, principles and truth are always firm and forever. It will always stay the same. Scriptures tell us that there's none, nothing new under the sun. Mm. Things that we read about in history have happened all throughout humankind. They've always happened. Mm. They've always happened. Mm. But when we go back to the point you had mentioned about the obedience, um, as well as the voice, the message that's been given to the people, it's okay to be different people. For myself, my brother Yao's perspective, whatever's been given to you, that voice is for you. Mm-hmm. It's not to say in the day of Moses, there was no one else who could have carried out the plan. But the Most High knew that Noah would do and take seriousness and have the perseverance to carry out the will and to carry out the instruction of what needed to be done at that time. Mm -mm. Same thing with David. There were many warriors that could have fought Goliath, right? But he already understood who David was. So that message was for David. After his own heart. In the day of Daniel, Mm -hmm. that message was for Daniel. You know, everybody for who they are, the message is given to you. So that's your mandate. You're the one who has to carry out what that mandate is, not somebody else. You, it hits you and based on your fervency, your obedience and your will to see it forward, that's when people catch on. That's when the movement takes place because they're following you because they believe that if you believe it that much, I'm following too. It wasn't even given to them, but they can feel and understand. Nah, what they say, oh, no, the spirit of the Lord is upon this. Now, nah, now nah, we got to listen, listen to him. Mm-hmm. Just like Jesus mom knew she had seen the miracles already. So when it came that point, you say, whatever he says to do, just do it. She may not have known the source, the exact word or what she, but I've seen enough to know whatever he says, do, just go ahead and do it. Because he's, going he's about and his father's business. That's it. The consistency. That's how we move mm-hmm. as a people. So we talk about the unification. Why don't we have unity as a people? 
because we've forsaken the vision and we don't have the leader. What? We don't have the leader. We don't have people who have availed themselves to the leadership and the tutelage to something bigger than themselves, their creator. Because God speaks to those who have availed, who have availed themselves to listen. Mm. To he that have an ear, let him hear. Let him hear what? Let him hear what? The direction. But how do we hear? We have to be in tune. How do we are in tune? We have to refine ourselves. We have to purge ourselves from distractions, from the clouds, to make sure we have that frequency that we're dialed in, that we know. Oh, that's what we call discernment, right? Oh, nah, I can't go left. I need to go right. Mm, not feeling this right now. Not the time, not the season. Need to do this. When we talked about it, time of fasting when we're younger, we knew, hey, every time we were out set out for the mission, we knew when we need to go minister, we need to do X, Y, and Z. There's certain things had to take place. Why? Because we felt the weight and the importance of what needed to take place. So where we are today in our 40s, we've been there, we've done that, and now we have to take it to a different level. Why? Because the mandate is higher. We've seen things, we've heard things, and we're seeing it happen in real time. It's a new level, new season, new requirement, new discipline. But once again, what word that the Most High has given is for you. What he's given is for me. We got to execute it with excellence, fervency, and then the people will follow. Iron sharpeneth iron. Man. Once that spark is litten, what, what, what does Matthew talk about? Let your light so shine. <laughs> because light and darkness don't mix. But once that candle is lit, light, it illuminates everything. Mm. Everything around it gets affected. Mm. When you're sharp, when we're on our game, when we're listening, we're in obedience everything we're talking about this morning your whole eco circle your family your friends your community get impacted all it takes is one person's obedience to go that's all it takes it only took one person let my people go who moses moses go tell pharaoh i'm gonna put a resistance against you but still go do it because i know who you are <laughs> you're gonna do it i know you and your personality you are going to do it go do it yes moses didn't know that there was a roadblock that he was gonna run into but he was persistent even through pains, even through sorrow, even through um, lackluster or disobedience, he mm. still understood. God doesn't 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 uh, call on perfect people. No, people who avail themselves, people who recognize that they're not their own, and there's a power that is supernatural and that is above everything. I tell people all the time, I'm just an average human being. Mm. No, no, you're great. I'm not great. I don't accept anything. That's what you think. I don't think that way because me, I'm just dust. From dust I came, dust I return. I am just here. My goal is to do whatever has been put in my heart to go forward and do. That's yeah. it. I can't walk y'all's path. I can't walk my brother's sister's path. No, I can only walk the path that was created for me and go. And everything that's going to happen will happen. But we can't be like Jonah and be swallowed up in a well because he will redirect. That's how important you are. The shore falls... The ills, the things that go on in our lives that we're like, why is this happening? It's because you're that important. You have to learn from those mistakes to understand that. You didn't die. As long as you're still breathing, you are still on that mission. Mm. As long as you you are you haven't expired yet, your mission is still, the clock is ticking. You here. Keep pushing. Don't listen to the naysayers. Don't look at the circumstances. Don't look at your bank account. Don't look at what other people are doing. Not. We live in our own lives. I have perfect peace. Praise I'm praise. not looking for anything. I'm not trying to be anybody else. Praise I don't have time for anything because because what I have for me is too much of my. It's taking too much of my time. I ain't got time for that. <laughs> I, I just don't have the time. My mind is somewhere else. So we just have to execute the mission that has been mission impossible. The mission that God gave you, you just got to go do it. That's it. Period. Everybody you need that's going to come to your wheelhouse, we've seen it. The soldiers come. The funders come. The workers come. The laborers come. What? Because as long as we take that step and we keep it pushing, boom, that's all it takes. The will. We got the will. Many of us who are listening, who is watching this right now, you have the will. You have the desire. Whatever has been placed in your heart was given to you for you. Don't even have to share it with the world. Just execute. Execute and watch what's going to happen. You'll be amazed at how much your life will be more fulfilling. And even in your sorrow, you will have joy because you understand it was worth it. Jesus had the scripture say, 
you want to get to the end game. You want to run that race. You want to make sure you say, you know, I've done all that I can do. I'm exhausted. I've done it. I've seen it through. Now it's time for somebody to take that mantle forward. But we have to set that standard. We as an individual daily, let a man examine himself. I try to do that every day. Got it. What is in me? What needs to be removed? What do I need to work on? Have those conversations. Just like we're talking right now. We're talking to our, our brothers and sisters here uh, all across the globe. This is how I talk to my Savior. This is how I talk to the Most High. I have this type, type of conversations. Some people say, Dad, you're always thinking, yes, I'm having a conversation. I'm pondering. I'm waiting for some answers. I can't make a decision until I know that this, I'm in the right neighborhood. I'm in the right zip code. Mm. And then I watch, okay, boom. I turn left, bam, there it goes. This door opens. That door opens. And it works. It's not out of my own intellect or intelligence. No. Mm. It's from the Father. This is how the Spirit of the Lord helps you assist you mm. guide you mm. in all areas of your life you just have to understand that as long as we have that mind that spirit and that awareness to understand oh this is what it is this is where my strength comes from i'm locked in as we say in athletics when a person's getting ready for the fight getting ready for that we locked in we got to be locked in 24 7 have our heart affixed on what the things of the spirit the scriptures why so what does it do it's fortifying us we need to what commune with one another what Checking on a brother, being more accountable with one another, and what encouraging one another because we don't know what each other's going through. But I guarantee we all going through the same thing. When if I know that you're going through the same thing I'm going through, it's not that I it lessens it. It's like oh no, if you can do it, I can do it. That's and it. that's that encouragement. That's what the scriptures. We always go back to what soldiers. Iron sharpeneth iron. Where you weak at, you'll pick me up. Mm. Where I'm weak at, I'll pick. Or vice versa. And it has to, and it happens like that in a community. Mm -hmm. So our brothers, our sisters, those understand that we need each other. Mm -hmm. We need each other, but more than anything, you need your Creator. You need the, you need to ask the Most High to to repair, mm. just like repair that relationship. Seek ye first the kingdom, and all these things shall be added. Don't seek people. Mm. Seek the kingdom first; people will follow. Seek the kingdom first. You don't seek money. Seek the kingdom for all. It didn't say certain. It said all these things. Whatever you need in your wheelhouse. Because once again, let's go back to the garden. Mm. Adam and Eve. What were they lacking in the garden? Not a Absolutely nothing. Mm -mm. Everything they needed to survive, everything that they needed to exist was all around them. And it's it still was that, only through disobedience. Mm, and it's still the case to this day. Still the case to this day. We go there and we see. What would he see? We're like, it's nothing but blessings and bountiful and just, just elude. everything's around you. Why, what are you guys lacking? They're like, oh, we need this. But you got it right here. They can't even see it. That's how far removed from the garden we are. Can't even see it. You have outsiders, Gentiles trying to tell you <laughs> what exactly you have. What, what is in your hand? You already got it. But we can't see it. Why we can't see it? We've been blinded by disobedience. We've been blinded by sin. And sin and error, when we say that is, once again, how the, just how the scriptures say, to him that knows to do right and doeth it not, to him it's a sin. Mm. Meaning, there are things that you can do and I can do, but they're not equated on the same level because it was given to you. You knew it hit your spirit that you were supposed to execute and follow through. You decided not to do it. Now you're in error based on your relationship with your creator. Someone else can do the exact same thing. It won't have the same weight and levity because of your position. Mm. Because of what you've been called to do. You know? So we, we got to look at this. Don't defer the platform of the pulpit and put that onto other people. Now, that, that's what preachers do. That No, no. We're all the same. We're not. <laughs> there's not levels to this thing. We're all the same. We all have mandates that need to be executed. Ooh. God sees it the same. Yes, sir. I don't care what job you have. Yes, what position you think you have. Mm. You have a mandate. Yes. And as long as. As we continue to turn a blind eye and not look toward that source and understand what that is, we're on the path. You can see the world around us. We say it's going to hell and back. We remember how life was back in the 90s and where we are now in the 2000s. Mm. We didn't think it could get to this level. Just imagine where we're going to be 10 years from now, 20 years from now. It's getting crazy nowadays. Like things that we couldn't even conjure up in our minds are real today it wasn't even a thought 20 years ago it wasn't even a thought when we were growing up but today it's normal 
So you can see, and what do we see when we look at the faith-based community, when we look at churches, when we look at all these institutions, they're popping up everywhere, but where's the power? Mm. Why? There are no vessels. Peter, pop off. <laughs> there are no vessels. <laughs> we got bread. There are no vessels. So now we're, we, we're having, what are we having to do on a daily basis? We're having mm. to really critically think through everything that was predisposed to us, everything that was illuminated to us, things that have been programmed to us. And now we're trying to, we have to sit back and question, like, was that real? Why do we even think that? Where did, where did that person come from that they were even projecting that foolishness onto us? But I'm glad we had an opportunity to see it because now we're able to uncover the truth. So guess what? Now we have the ability to affect change for future generations. Mm -hmm. So the things, the shortcomings we had, the people coming next, right behind us, our kids and their kids, they shouldn't have those same issues because we as the leaders create that standard. Like, oh, no, no, we got we got to dismantle that contract. That covenant has to be broken. Nope. Nope. Mm. Can't, we can't move forward in this lineage. It has to stop right here. And some and contracts can be refresh. broken. And so, yes. It, and it can take it can take a lifetime. It could take 30 years. Remember, Mao Zedong positioned China. He learned from the West and saw what the Europeans took 300, 400 years to do. He truncated it to 30 years and said, we're going to be the bottom. We're going to be the sweatshop. We're going to be the, the, the lower tier. But we're purposely doing that to become self-sustaining. And they, they, they were able to galvanize the people under one united thought, whether you agree. Remember, everything we're talking about on this podcast, you got to be in the overstanding and from an objective standpoint and not pulling to any one way or another. And they were able to come out. You think about imagination is a warfare. Weapons of our warfare are not carnal. One of my favorite albums is Frank Ocean's Blonde. He said one line that's very powerful. He said, living in an idea the idea from another man's mind. Mm. I'm living in an idea, the idea of another man's mind. Very powerful. And you talk about combat. The ideals, Kwame Nkrumah, uh, Patrice Lumumba, all of these nations got a, 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 a level of independence in the 60s. But they were still relegated to systems, financial systems, educational systems, communication systems that were still from a colonized standpoint to this day. But we're seeing something very interesting happening that is being portrayed to us in one way, but this is a different perspective if we're staying in objective thought processes. With Burkina Faso, which the president or the, the leader, his name is Ibram or Abram that we, we can we can go into <laughs> Sub-Sahara <laughs> I ain't saying nothing I don't know I don't even know why I'm here <laughs> right and in his even though we're, in, we, we're speaking French we're speaking English we're Francophone we're Anglophone all those captivities or contracts that you talked about is still there that's why I said sometimes it could take time Mao Zedong understood that whoever right you have that in Niger you have that in Mali. All of this is happening. And if you go into a deeper route, that's the Fertile Crescent that we talked about. Or that's where Timbuktu was. A resurgence is happening where now they're saying, if you're following the news, we don't want even the French here. We don't want to speak French no more. We don't want to. Mm. We want to. We want to build from our own. That's dry bones. Now, you can get into how he's doing it, why he's doing it. Sankara did a similar thing. You can go into all that if you want to bring it back to a lower vibration within the context of man-made systems. I'm talking from spirit space. We're talking from historical space. We're, st we're talking about realities that can't be debunked in that realm. That's where we're sitting. So from those standpoints, those are signs. The Most High says he brings his signs in the earth realm for those who can see. And my job as a seer Co's job as a seer, your job is to do your mandate. Your mandate is not mine. Mine is tailor made based on bloodline, based on my experience, based on my education, based on all these different factors. And the same for you. So when we're looking at that tree, eagle, ant 
is very polarizing perspectives, but you got all the in-betweens. What about the different animals that, the, 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 the worms, and oh, you have all these, but we need all of those. If the worm don't do what it's supposed to do, the earth is going to be out of balance. If we get rid of the bees, all of us going to die. But we think bees don't mean nothing. We just worry about how they sting us, but we're not realizing that they pollinate and help us with all kinds of other stuff. So if you don't do your job, even activists, that's why I don't get mad at people who do activism. They need to do that. Whatever you feel you're supposed to do, you're doing it. Even if you're doing things that we consider to be contrary, you're still doing your job. Play your part. Do you, do you. They say, do what you, do what you think you, <laughs> you're supposed to do. Because at the end of the day, you may be on your last generation and most high is, is, is shifting the way your <laughs> bloodline <laughs> operates. <laughs> You might be your last generation. <laughs> Expedite the process. <laughs> Flush that valve. <mama. laughs> That's why I laugh for you like cockroaches. So you have to realize what the Most High is doing. Pride comes yep. before the fall. You can read that in many different realms. Yeah, it's true. That's true. Bloodline. Virgin, we talked about the concept of virginity. Is virginity even worth anything? Mm -hmm. The concept was to preserve purification of bloodline. If you watch Game of Thrones, you should understand that principle. The the royal family. Why was there some turmoil? Because uh, what's her name? The the woman, the Merkel. black Merkel, was getting in the mix of that. What was they talking about? What was Grandma mixing. talking about? The mixing. Yeah, mixing with you, you mixing up stuff. This, we, 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 we don't do that. <laughs> the mixing, see? I was gonna, at one point in my life, I was in, 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 I was in a relationship with a, a European female. Mm -hmm. Her mom said to me, If you guys do it, man, your children are gonna suffer. I thought about it. Your mom's right. We called it off. We weren't even in a deep stage of anything, but the concept, and I didn't fully understand because you'd be like, no, nah, it don't matter. I love who I love. And I'm not saying none of that, but what I am saying is. No, nah, that's what we're saying. That's what we're saying. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we saying. No, but some people are, some people are supposed to do that because of, see. for the way the most high, everything is mixed up right now because of the contracts that have been created. That's why it says the whole earth in, in Psalm 82 is in derision. The, the foundations are all mixed up. It's all, everything's all. So on the way back to Eden, back to the way it's supposed to be, which is going, there's gonna be recorrection, but in the recorrection, there's gonna be some malfunction. That's the way it's supposed to be. The book of Judges shows you all the time. Look at Samson. Samson, most I said he knew he was gonna smash Delilah and he wanted to destroy them, so he made Samson, he gave, he gave Samson the power. It wasn't because he was anointed and he still was covenant. That's why you see a lot of people, even our celebrities, they're of a certain covenant, but because they have made allegiance with whatever uh, outside entities, that unction is still on them, but it's for a season before it drops. Mm -hmm. So that's why when someone says, I feel like I love this, you love who you love, and did it. Okay. All right. Flush. Re Revenge, it, the most high is moving on a different level. I'm starting to see things at a very different level. And that's why he said, let all the earth be silent. Like, just think about it. The creator who created everything, who's making your heart beat right now, as you're listening to me, who helps you to hear me, all this sound coming and vibration, da, 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 all that is the one who's in control at the end of the day. No one can touch but, the sun. You, you said something very important that not necessarily the guidance, but the words that came out from the parent was, I have kids, they will suffer. They will suffer. She didn't say it you was heard wrong. The, you heard, that's the seed drop that of caution. That's all you needed to hear to cause you to what? Come back to yourself and be like, oh, nah, uh-uh. Some people, we get that. Some people get that same seed and just ignore it. Like, nah, I'm good. And then you'll, it, it, it'll you show up later. these contracts. Yeah, there you go. Agreements, contracts, and that some of those contracts, once you make them, it gives access. Yes, 
He did it. I've been trying to get to that bloodline for three generations now. Mm. So you got to remember all the stuff that's happening right now was if you go back to older movies, older things, they've been saying this stuff was going to happen. Mm. They've yeah, been because they understand the principle, even Willie Lynch, whether he's a person or just a document, the principle. Remember, I want to keep bringing us up, bring us up in the way we think. We got a song we're going to put out called Higher. you going to be higher. I want, you got to think at a different level to understand the world we're living in today. That type of thinking, he said, if you can get them to fight each other for th at least three generations, it's going to last for two to three hundred years, four hundred years. Because he understood what the Most High said when the Most High said to the third and fourth generation, I will visit you. When David, who you referred to, whom he loved, who was a man after his own heart, when he crossed that line because of what he meant and who he was, certain things c people can do and get away with. And the ramification, as you said, don't show up as much because their their bloodline or their contribution or whatever the most high plan for their seed line wasn't, wasn't going to have the level ramifications like a Moses when he got mad, he cut him off. Or when, when David did what he did, he said, this... Thing you've done the sword is never going to depart from your house but, mm. I, but it ain't going to happen in your generation and, and David was like please be that, that's a sorrow you got to live with now you hear the Psalms now you understand the Psalms where he's like please have mercy on me please don't let this because he knew that's true the most high is terrible in his doings you think you winning. Just imagine you, you live in illusion. You think it's one way. I was, I was just watching. I think I sent it to you on Instagram where a dude had three, child, three kids. Then he went to the doctor and found out that he was sterile. He's like, hold on, I'm sterile. I'm sterile? Are you sure? Did all that. He said his, every time they would watch a TV and the uh, Ancestry.com would come on, his wife would just change it and stuff. He's like, why? You, I noticed you keep changing. Why you change? Nah, that stuff ain't on even work. Da, 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 da. Come to find out he was sterile and those wasn't his kids. Just imagine that. So the Most High has all kinds of things aligned in the way it manifests as people love to use that term now, which it can be problematic in ways, especially when it's used in cultural senses. That means the fallen is using it to deceive and manipulate. But when you show forth or show up, I'm using all these terms so it, it, it resonates in, in realities, in real space, in real time, and it comes out to be a certain way, just know that seed could have been sown three, four hundred years ago. So when you walk in in discernment, walking according to spirit, according to your covenant, according to your bloodline, the Most High has a, a plan for all the nations. And he gave the other nations idols. So he said, silver and gold, when people worship money and all that kind of stuff, he want them to do that. But he don't want you to do that. But people may be asking, like, well, who are you talking to? Whoever hear me, who knows? He said, he said, my sheep hear my voice. You know who my I'm voice, talking that's to. It. You know who I'm talking to. I'm not going to get into the color game and all those games. I, we are above principalities and powers mm -hmm. and rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness and heavenly places. If it resonates, voice. you know what it is. You know who I'm talking to. <laughs> so if you want to do that, guess what? You're going to be at the bottom. That's logics. You ain't going to never come out. Because you can't be popping in another man's currency. And another man's power is just impossible. At some point, they're going to want their currency back. Cut that into however you want to cut that. that, that that's dimensional. We're dimensional beings, but we've been only relegated to think things from a consumer pirating thought, thought process. Monsters, animals. I was there, trust me, but... You overcome like our savior did. He was at the top of the mountain and he then he came back in the power of the spirit because he said, you have the world is in the world has come for me. He has come for me, but has nothing in me. And that's and that's our that's the journey of life is to not to be in, but not of. We can get mad money, get all the life, live it, love it, all that kind of stuff. But can you do that and not bow to it? That's the real power. We'll catch you on the next podcast.